Welcome back guys to an episode that's just going to be oh, so much fun because we're going to be putting in trans a transit tube system and transit tube systems are all about optimizing how your uh, your dupes move around the place right so it's kind of important before you start to kind of understand what your dupes are doing so the the two key areas right are are really the showers if you've got showers if not then your beds and, uh, and the great hall. But really, it's the showers and the beds. You should have showers. So, why are these two important? Well, the, the great hall is where they kind of end the day, right? So, if we look at the schedules, we'll see that at the end of the day, we have downtime. And during that time, they'll, they'll eat, they'll go to the bathroom, and then they'll go to bed, right? So, this is where they end the day. And then... First, then they go to sleep, and then the first thing in the morning is bath time. So they go from their beds to the showers, and from there, that's where they go to work. So the key, the key things are getting them from wherever they're working, like wherever that may be, up to the, um, up to the dining room, so that they can, they can eat, do their stuff, and go to bed. And then in the morning, getting them from the showers off to wherever they need to go to. So, in the last episode, we researched... Transit tubes, transit tube access, and transit tube crossing. I'm going to crank this up now. And we're going to put in our first transit tubes. <laughs> I've been looking forward, like the whole series up to this point, I've been looking forward to this. So we are going to put transit tube there, or tr transit tube access point there. And I'm also going to put one there and there. Now this is slightly overkill, and could I get away with just one there? And so after their showers, they just come down here. I could. But I want this to be like as quick as possible. So I'm going to put in an extra one. Now the, the issue with doing that is these puppies take a lot of power to initially charge up. Now this is the thing. Um, these things take 960 watts of power. And you're probably going, oh my god, 960 watts all the time? Right, so like, that, like you've just put in like 4k of power drain. Yeah, well, it doesn't quite work like that. Um... The, the way it works is they charge let me show let me show you um, let's get let's get some let's get some uh, conductive wire and I'll link one of these up so come on guys come on come on get this built for me should we prioritize it see start the morning they all come to the showers all right so we've got this uh, we've got this hooked up Oh, it needs a tube connected. So let's get uh, let's start putting our transit tube network in. So I'll just put one. Now you can't do you can't do really sharp turns with this. So for example, you couldn't you couldn't go from there to there and then down like that. It, it needs to be like that, right? So you need to go up one from there. You've got to go up one from there. You can't go to the side, and then like that, and then you can turn. So you've got to have like a one, uh, a one space, a one tile gap uh, around corners. Okay, so if we let them get that built, with a bit of luck, this will start charging up. Let's see. Let's see if it does. And there you go. Now you can see it, that it's starting to charge up. Right? And while it's charging up, yep, it's drawing all that heavy power, 960 watts. But once it's charged up, if I go to, if I go to power and we look at this circuit. Uh, so potential power consumed is 960 watts, but it's now charged up. So it's actually consuming zero. And the only time that this will use power is when somebody actually uses the transit tube. It'll draw a little bit of power and then it will charge that up. All right, cool. So, uh, where are we gonna? Where are we gonna be going? So we're starting. Well, we're coming to here at night. We're leaving from here in the morning. Well, where are we going to? Well, where do we want to go? That's the question. So obviously, down here, our, our ranchers are travelling down here fairly frequently to sort out the uh, the hatches. Now, my smooth hatches for some reason died, and I'm guessing that I don't know. Maybe they starved to death. Um, but they disappeared. I'd like one minute they were there, the next minute they weren't there. I don't know. So I'm going to get rid 
of these four buildings here because I don't need those. Oh, 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 don't want to get rid of that yet. Cancel. I must got rid of my heavy wire. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to copy the settings from here over to here. And I'm going to make this another stone hatch room. So we'll go up from having eight stone hatches to having 16. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because we're getting a bit low on coal. So we need to bring uh, we need to bring a lot more coal in uh, temporarily. I'm going to be switching to other forms of power eventually, but for now, that's what I'm doing. By the way, in between the last episode and this episode, the only thing I've done, I did a little bit of digging over here, and I put in this wall here with these platforms. And eventually, this wall will go straight up here. Okay, so this is good. This is actually going to be outside edge of the base. And I'm going to get rid of one of these toilets and one of these sinks. You know what, while I'm saying it, I suppose I could do it, couldn't I? Yeah, go on. Go on, I'll do it. So let's rip out those and those and those. Okay. Have they done this? Ah, oh, they've done this down here. So I'm going to put in... And again, having two, uh, two transit tubes two so close together is a bit overkill. But I don't care. Because it's cool and it's fun. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what do I want? I want a transit tube access down there and one down there. Now, this is where you will start to see why I've left this one space tile gap down here. We've got the fireman's pole. We've got the plastic ladder. And then we've always had a space. And the space is for the transit tube. Right, and this is going to go zip, zip, zip all the way down here. Now, when you're going through walls and floors, you need to put in these transit tube crossings. So I'll rotate that round. That one's going to go in there. This one's going to go in there. So I'm going to have to get rid of this deodorizer. Over this side, I can get rid... Now, I want this to be at the same level, don't I? So it's that's the level. So I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff. And I'm going to get rid of that tile there. Now, if I get rid of that tile there, what happens to my room size? My room size is still okay. Room size is 95 tiles. We can have a max of 96. So that's fine. All right. So let's go back to my transit tube crossings. We need one of those in there. We've already got one there, one there. We need one there. And we need one there. Cool. And then I can get my transit tubes and run them all the way down here into there and all the way down into there and then down to there. and I've got to go up one and across and the same with this up one and across and then all the way into there awesome source now we want to be able to get from one side of the tra of this system to the other side right and I could kind of put that anywhere, but I'm going to put it through the uh, through this nature reserve. Now, uh, I wonder if I can show this to you straight away. Don't know. Don't know. Um, power. P powering these up is going to be obviously quite important. It's why in the previous episode I spent so much time like digging all this stuff out so that I can get this set up because this is where all my power generators are going to be. So what do I want? Um, I want to do a little bit of messing around with the power. I'm going to get some heavy watt wire. You can see at the moment this is all over the place. And it's going through walls and stuff. And I want to get rid of that completely. So for now, I may drop this down later. But for now, I'm going to run this from here across over to this, uh, to this ladder. This is going to be the ladder that, that the power is going to go up. So all of these are going to move over a little bit. And this ladder will move over a couple. And eventually it'll all go straight up there. But for now, it's just going to go up to there. And then once that's built, then I can rip all of this messy garbage out and start to really tidy up the base. And ultimately what I want to do is do exactly the same on the other side so that I've got uh, power gener uh, oh, not gen gen generators, power transformers on the other side as well. Because these are 2K circuits. Well, two of these is is 2K, right? That's your power done, right? And at the moment, I'm going to be running them just from one side 
ultimately I need to switch it to, to the other side so that I can power these and power other stuff as well. But I'll, I'll be able to get away with it for now. Right, let's get, uh, what do I want? Let's start powering these puppies up. So on this circuit, I'm just going to have this and this one. That's going to be fine. And then on this circuit, I'm just going to have... Uh, oh, no, no, stop it, stop it. I'm going to have that one and that one. That's going to be fine. On this circuit, I've just got the kitchen. So that's cool. Awesome source. Uh, there's nothing on this. I, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that because it's... I hate seeing these cables just sticking out of the ground. Uh, okay, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, these are in place now. Now, the question is, how am I going to power these? That is a very good question. I think, see, that's only powering this pump over here. So I think for now, uh, we'll run conductive wire up here for that one. And conductive wire up there for that one. Sweet. Okay, and then that one. Currently, we've got that cable going through there. Uh, oh, this circuit isn't actually powering anything at the moment. Okay, good. What we'll do, let's rip out. Let's rip out that cable. And we'll put in conductive wire. Uh, oh, I need to rip out this stupid nonsense now. Hooray. Good looking forward to this so can, can I replace that with a tile I don't even know let's find out can I put a no I can't okay uh, deconstruct that deconstruct that deconstruct that one and that one cool and I'll fill my walls in. now am I gonna have solid walls I'm the solid wall is going to be there, isn't it? And then coming across here. Okay, so uh, that's going to be there. Am I going to run this all the way down to there, or am I just going to bring it? I think I'm just going to bring it across here, in actual fact. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bring it across here for now. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, oh, now I'm down. Now I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, I'm just going to. I'm going to bring it across here. So let's run that all the way up to there. Uh, am I going to have airflow tiles there? Yeah, let's just put a regular tile there. Okay, fine. Right, I'm not going to, I'm not going to faff about too much with this. Let's just rip out these power wires that we don't want. So, get rid of all of those. And those. Get rid of that. And we can trim that back down. Oh, we can trim that all the way down, can't we? Yeah, we can. Hooray, good. All right, which means that now I can put in, or start to put in, the beginnings of my full-on infrastructure. So, now, where have I been putting these? I'm just wondering if I want to give myself, like, one extra space. Um, am I going to give myself one extra space? I don't think I am, actually. No, no, sl slam it in there. And then we want heavy watt wire hooking that up and then we want a uh, conductive wire just gonna go down and then along this floor and it's gonna power that all right sweet so we're powering that we're powering that one we're powering these up here awesome all right need to connect these up so ship 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 and ship 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 there we go all right, sweet. All right, now we can turn our attention to up here because up here, now I have been, I've been going backwards and forwards on exactly how I'm gonna do this because I want, uh, I want two more of these Draco farms. And I've dis, and I, originally I was gonna have them side by side and I was gonna have the transit tubes coming up here and exiting here. But instead, I'm gonna put them on top of here, which I think makes more sense. And the way that's going to work, uh, I'll, I'll just put in these farm tiles so you can kind of see where it's going to be. So I'm going to have these farm tiles in there and in there. I'm going to have to move that, which is going to be a pain. Go on, deconstruct priority nine and then put in one of these tiles quick. 
Where is it? Food, farm tile, boom. Do that, priority nine. Go. Quick. See, they do all the other ones, except the one that you've made a blooming priority. Quick. And, yeah, none of my Drekos have got out yet. Hooray. Good news. All right, cool. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to be have to be careful about how I do this. So, I'm going to have to extend this ladder up here for sure. So, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll dig out those. We can dig out those now. And we can get rid of that, 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 that. We'll get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some... Uh, some airflow tiles and put them in across here like this and across here like this. That's so that these guys can stand on here to, to actually get to the bottom of these. Although that's not going to be an issue in the future. But uh, it's going to be exosuits. I'm gonna, we're going to be using exosuits in these rooms. But we'll worry about that in the next episode. That's going to be another fun ep episode playing around with the exosuits. Alright. Now they're starting to get this done. Uh, we can rip out that ladder and that one and that and we can rip out all of these tiles across there and we can do exactly the same there and we're going to run, where are we, uh, plastic ladder, we want that plastic ladder going up to there, we'll run the fireman's pole up to there as well and I suppose I should dig out that tile there, cool. All right, sweet. We're getting there. Um, I am going to have to dig this out, unfortunately. So, let's say dig that out. Plastic ladder goes up to there. Fireman's pole goes up to there. Sweet. And we will get a couple more transit tube accesses, which are going to be there and there. And then we want transit tubes. Which are going to go up, across, and down to join the network. Hooray! So, ship, ship, ship. Ship, 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 ship. Now, this is kind of important. Now, I was, I was talking to you right at the beginning about uh, optimizing. Well, I've got ranchers working on these Dracos. And I've also got ranchers working down here on uh, on the stone hatches. Oh, I need to put that in, don't I? Oh, that's a good point. Let's just throw an airfly tile in there for now. There we go. Let's make that priority eight. Get that done. All right, sweet. Um, so yeah, my my poor ranchers have been running up and down here like maniacs up until this point. Uh, but now they're going to be able to to just jump in the access tube and travel all the way down to the other end. Now, what are other people going to be doing? Well, um, the, when this gets extended. People are going to be going off and, and, for example, digging or they're going to be bringing supplies back or, or taking supplies to other places. And they need to get to these storages um, like pretty promptly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip out everything that's on the end of these rows. Get rid of that and that and those. So we want transit tube exits. Now, exits can just be the end of a tube. They just need somewhere to land. So, I'm going to put them out on every one of these levels. Because why not? Oh, and... And there as well. And there. And there. And there. And... Yeah, you know what? Instead of them having coming up here and going up here... Alright, let's do it. Let's tidy things up a bit streamline the process let's get rid of those and we'll put in airflow tiles across here so they actually can't go up here and in actual fact i'm gonna want to do this for what i'm doing in the next episode anyway so we'll put airflow tiles across there so they can go up there excellent right then we'll rip out these doors rip out these doors awesome oh by the way i found a gulp fry egg hooray so we're now we're now getting um, we're now getting gulp fish hatched and put into there. Hooray! There was much rejoicing. 
All right, now, uh, I, am, I need to close this off. So these power transformers are going to have to move. Uh, originally, when I was going to have these side by side, I put these doors in so there'd be access. Uh, but we actually don't want those doors. So I'm going to deconstruct that, deconstruct that. Um, and then let, let's up the priority on that so that gets done quickly. And then, but I am going to have these, I'm going to have the transit tubes going up here. So I'm going to let the hydrogen go up here. So I'm going to want the hydrogen to be able to get into these rooms. So what I'm going to do is replace the sides with airflow tiles. So I want airflow tiles coming down to there. Remember, this layer here is actually carbon dioxide. And I don't want to disturb that. So it's those five tiles there. So one, two, three, four, five. Do the same on the other side. How I'm going to get access up to here, I have no idea. I've got to change my whole attitude to the to this natural gas i'm going to have to root it instead of rooting it through here i'm going to have to root it like round here or something uh, it just needs to come like this whole thing needs to be moved completely over to the other side i need to like seal this up properly and root the natural gas down here i can get rid of those tiles now oops somebody's getting scalded it's just when they go past this door, it's very hot here. Yeah, it's like 80 degrees by that door. Up there, not a problem. There, not a problem. By these two doors, yeah, by, by the, the two square tiles by the door. Yeah, freaking hot. All right, not a problem. Uh, what do I want to do? So I want to run this. Uh, I'm going to have to run this ladder up here. But I'm thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my plastic and just do it with a regular ladder because they're not going to be going up here very often, I don't think. Ultimately, I'm going to put a, a crossing up, I don't know, um, either here or at the top of the other room. And then this is going to be sealed off. And the only way to get outside of here is going to be via the transit tube. Which is going to be kind of cool. So eventually this, this transit tube is going to be going up there, but not right now. Uh, we can now rip out those tiles. And we can finish putting in a couple more tiles there. That'll allow. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to. I want to go all the way up to the top anyway. So maybe I'll just put them in all the way up. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun ripping this gas out. And when I say it's going to be fun, I mean it's not going to be fun at all. It's going to be a real pain. Uh, let's take a look at this. Can I bring in a dupe? Who have we got? Oh, husbandry strength, diver's lungs. Ah, uh, he's got decreased strength. She has got de decreased strength. Uh, so I'm going to bring in Catalina. The The strength nulls out, so it's just really uh, ranching and diver's lungs. And that'll do. Welcome, Catalina. So Catalina will... Um, let's see, which schedule are you on? So you're on, you're on the first half of the schedule that's fine skills wise you start with one skill we will give you um uh where's ranching where's ranching oh uh chris ranching's down here isn't it so you're gonna have to have improved farming and we'll take we'll get you to chris ranching and um i'm not even going to give you a hat at this point what, what uh, unlawful mind let's say i was going to get you to do the construction wasn't wasn't I? That was the route I was going to take you. Let's go. We've got like a bunch of skills. So let's do. I'm going to give you improved strength, and then we'll go the construction route. Cool. And then you still got two skills. And I was going to go. I was going to go operating, wasn't I? Yeah. So let's go operating. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I want to do exactly the same with LDBM. So we want to go exosuit. Uh, improved strength then improved construction and then we'll start on tinkering and i guess we'll give you guys the top end construction hat because it's pretty cool there we go hooray 
there was much rejoicing. So let's see, Catalina, you're gonna be you're gonna be another rancher, aren't you? So yeah, I'll wait till I've got your rancher hat. All right, cool. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, well, hang on a second. How do you get through ladders? Like, if I was going to run one across here, let's just pause it for a second. Um, how would I run it, like, across a ladder? Because if I if I try and do that, it'll say you can't. It's red, and I can't run it across the pole either. Well, all you do is remove that ladder, remove that pole, run the pipe through, and they can climb up. Um, over the transit tube, uh, a gap of one, they can climb up. So, uh, so that's it. That is, it's as easy as that. So, um, let's see how are people are doing. Oh, I, I should speed this up, shouldn't I? And oh, look. Now let's see. Noel is going down here, and I want to see. Uh, have you got? Yeah, he's got the nature reserve bonus. But I wonder if it'll say when he flies through, whether it'll show up the nature reserve bonus. No, it didn't. But this is why I've got this um, these tubes going through this nature reserve. Because if they pass through this room, even in a transit tube, they'll pick up the the nature reserve bonus, which is plus six to their morale, which is pretty awesome source. And it's why I'm also going to put... So if they swap from one side of this transport system to the other, we're going to do it here. So I'm going to have to come out and then go up... And do the same here. So come out and then go up like that. I can't come directly out from there, unfortunately. All right, sweet. So now they're going to be able to get like for if they if they're down working in this room, a rancher, and he wants to get um, say to these Drecos, he's just going to be able to fly straight. Up or, or if somebody's bringing an egg up here, then they can jump there, just slide down the pole. Come over here. Awesome source. So let's see. Um, so we've, we've had people probably coming back here using the tubes. Oh, now you've just, unlawful mind's just flown off. Let's see, well, let's, where, where are you going? Oh, you're just going to fly up to the top. Now these aren't powered up at the moment. So that's a point. I should probably get those powered up, because they can't go backwards. Yeah, it's a good point, good point. Oh yeah, that's right, I was trying to sort this out, wasn't I? Oh man. Yeah, I was trying to sort out where I'm going to... Right, right. The thing is, I want to have probably my wall going up there. Okay, let's put them there, there, and there. Yeah, I'll put them there. Which means, um, uh, let's put in let's put in airflow tiles this time. Airflow tiles there, airflow tiles there. Uh, I'm actually going to dig out... Those. I, I want this hydrogen to be released to go up here. So I want to rip out these old power cables. Uh, like that. I want to put in my new cable going up the back of here. Yeah. So that's going to go into there. That one's going to go into there. That one's going to go into there. I think I should get rid of that bit. And then I can hook up the conductive wires, that one's going to go into that one. That one goes into that one, and this one goes into that one. Hooray! And then that one's going to go into there. This one, for now, is going to go into there. So that's feeding this, that's fine. That's feeding this, that's feeding just those two. So what I want is another one, which, uh, another large transformer. Now, I've been spacing these out four wide, haven't I, yet? So that'd be one, two, three, four. Uh, there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be getting scalded again. Gonna have to sort that out. Uh, I really didn't want to do this. Ta. I really didn't want to. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have that wall in place before I do. So I want all this hydrogen trapped into here. All right. Insulated tile goes. Right up there. Are you pumping? Not at the moment. Somebody getting scalded again. Ah, just go up to there. It'll be fine. 
quick, quick, quick while the hydrogen's not there. Get it done. P, A, shoot. And um, actually, it's a good point. I can actually take this further up, can't I? Because it's going to go up there. Ah, sweet. Awesome. And I think I've got all the hydrogen. Yeah, oxygen, oxygen. Yeah, good job. Good job for once. Alrighty, so airflow tiles go underneath there. And then dig out. All right, just dig out those two for now. Um, yeah, don't need to go any further than that. And then what do I want to do? Power. I want my heavy watt wire uh, to go up there. Oh, I'm going to break that, aren't I? That's unfortunate. Okay, well, it is what it is. Run that in there. I'll try and block that Dreco in there if I possibly can. Let's make that P9 quick. Can somebody get that one done for me? Chances, slim to none, probably. <laughs> Come on, guys, get this damn tile filled. They're going to do everything else. Yep, doing everything. Oh, finally they get it done. Hooray, we've, we've trapped those guys in. So that's, that's, that's good. Um, I can actually dig out those tiles now. All right. Awesome. So I've got that power done. See, somebody else getting scolded. Let's have a quick look. Is it is it causing any real problems? Let's have a look at... What do I want? I want to look at vitals down there in Sorted Point Health. Um, it's just Squeezel and Sparrow Priest. Everybody's 100%. So, no worries. Okay, so now I've got that done. I need to hook up that to this and then rip out that bit of cable there. So then, that's on a single circuit, that's on a single circuit. Those two uh, transit accesses are on a single circuit. And then the rest of this stuff is just on a circuit on their, on their own. That kind of works. Let's trim those ends off because they're just messy. Awesome. Oh, you know, look, we are starting to get somewhere. Uh, oh, I need to do. I need to sort these bathrooms out, don't I? That's a damn good point. Uh, so what do I want? I want. I just want to put lavatories there, there, and there. Go. And then we can rip out and those and those and those. And then at some point, I'm going to have to uh, switch these valves off, drain the pipes, and then rip out these old pipes. In fact, pro the way I'm probably going to do it is to switch off this valve here, which feeds the water into this system, uh, and then move move these pipes over to where wherever they should be. Yeah. So I also need to throw into here... Uh, some large sculpting blocks, don't I? Yeah, one there, one there, one there. And then the wall is going to come down there. That's obviously going to have to go, but that wall's going to come down there and meet this wall. Awesome. Right, so now I think I can seal this off, so I don't want them going through here anymore. Um, if they want to get to the outside of the base around here, they've got to go, like, down here and out. So then we'll have a, a sealed base. And that will be the cause of much rejoicing. So seal that up. Hooray. Okay, so let's finish off this episode by following somebody through their daily routine. And uh, and we'll see if any of this actually hangs together and makes sense. And like, does it optimise their routines? That's, that's the big question. So where are we in the schedule? Oh, we've, we've just come up to uh, downtime. That's a good place to be. So who am I going to follow? You know what? Let's follow Squeezel. Squeezel's probably a good example. So, here, oh, here we go. There's Squeezel. So, Squeezel. Uh, we'll run it on medium speed, I think. Uh, have you got... Oh, you've got the nature reserve bonus. So, having eaten... Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going to zip... Oh, this is the other place that they hang out. Again, good reason to have an exit there. And then you're... I, I really need to create, like, a, a proper rec room where they can hang out. 
Squeezel's going to get some sleep. Let's speed that on a little bit. And then in the morning, it's going to be straight into the showers. Oh, bit of a stretch. Straight into the... There's all the people in the showers. Excellent. And they actually haven't got a lot to do at the moment, but Squeezel has. And Squeezel goes up so that she can get on with her Dreco work. Cool, good job. So she's doing a bit of grooming. There we go. Now you'll notice that she's having to hold her breath in there. Which is why in the next episode we're going to be putting in um, exosuits. So she won't, be able to, she won't have to hold her breath. Here goes Squeezel. She's now going to zip all the way down to the stone hatches. Oh no. Oh, she's actually gone to the nature reserve. Fine. They, they actually don't have a whole hell of a lot to do at the moment. It's really annoying. And then she zips back in to go up to the Drekos. Yeah, here they... So now they can move very, very quickly between the Drekos and the stone hatches. Now, could I optimise it by moving the stone hatches up there? Well, yeah, I could. But then I've got the issue of the carbon dioxide. See, the reason that the, the, the stone hatches are down here is because they produce the coal. The coal's used in the coal generators. The coal generators are down here because they produce CO2, which goes down to the carbon skimmer to get used up. The, uh, the Drecos are up here because of the hydrogen that they need, which I want at the top of the base. So being able to move the ranches backwards and forwards very, very quickly, really important. Oh, there's... Um, Unlawful mine. Where are you going? Let's follow Unlawful mine for a second. Follow cap. And where are you off to? Now, hang on. Oh, please tell me that you haven't got the... Uh, oh, you've got the nature reserve buff. I would love to so show somebody going through the nature reserve and actually picking up the buff. Well, you've just come down here. Where's somebody who's doing something interesting? Uh, there's none of the guys up there. Is anybody down here? No, nobody's down here. <laughs> this is the problem. They just don't have a lot to do at the moment. What is up with this? Outside of stable. Oh, oh, it's because of that blooming tile there. Man. All right. Let's put that tile in there. Let's put that tile in there. And we'll put a tile in there as well. Go. Now, one of this hasn't been doing anything. There we go. Hooray! Is this a this a proper ranch now? Well, stable. Yes, it is. Hooray! So those are proper stables. So hopefully now we should start getting some stone hatches appearing in here. Uh, did I change this? You know what? I should copy the settings from this one. Copy settings from that one to that one. There we go. Yeah, now it's set up for stone hatches. Much better. And I've switched them over from granite to igneous rock. Because we had loads of igneous rock. Alright, awesome. Right, well, you know what? I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. We now have a transit system. So they can get basically from any floor to any floor. And as we start to extend out and do do kind of the more advanced stuff, we can, um, we can extend these transit tubes out all over the place and have people flying off to industrial sites or whatever. It's going to be very cool. Come back for the next episode. Next episode, we're going to be putting in some exosuits up here so that they can go into this area. And there's going to be, remember, there's going to be another one on top of this um, without having to hold their breath. They'll be in lovely exosuits. And then, who knows, maybe we seal off the base and we actually have a, an exosuit room so that if they're going outside, well, I mean, there'll probably be more than one, but um, a place where they can go out. And then maybe, maybe we'll do some digging up or... I don't know. It's going to be fun, though. So, guys, I'll see you for that one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.